Uh, I'd like to welcome James Walsick to the table. Have a seat. Why don't you take two or three minutes and introduce yourself? Happy to do so. If you don't mind, I prepared these statements just to make sure that we're brief on time. And so my job tonight is to help provide you the information you need to select Mr. Grimes' replacement. I view that, that I'm here to serve you, and so I'll do that to the very best of my abilities. So first, some basic biographics. I grew up in a small town in rural upstate New York, considerably smaller than State College. But I first lived here in central Pennsylvania more than 25 years ago as a graduate student. Unfortunately, it took me about a decade-long detour through Texas to get back here. It returned in 90, uh, 1995, and for the past eight years, I've called Ferguson Township my home. Currently, I'm an associate professor of kinesiology, physiology, and medicine at Penn State. Having served this nation as an astronaut, I've expanded the traditional faculty role to include substantial community service. I'm a strong advocate for elementary and secondary school science education in this community and many others across the Commonwealth and the nation. Simply put, I believe science gives kids the tools to compete in the 21st century and I use human space exploration to spark the imagination and wonder that fuels lifelong learning. Besides my interest in all things science, math, and engineering, I think a key strength that I'd bring to the board would be in process and planning. My skill set derives from my work with federal agencies, and I think it scales very well to the State College Area School District. My approach is generally very analytical, and it's evidence-based and I would likely to be the person that would be asking for the data that supports or dissuades a particular course of action. Professionalism is an integral component of my operating code. People can disagree without being disagreeable, and I find that this level of collegiality encourages results, not rancor. Rarely do I operate from the status quo. I try to discern and assimilate best practices and guiding principles, and I apply them to situations as appropriate. I listen, I analyze, I plan, and then I try to act with integrity. So what brings me here today? It's simple. Education and public service are two of my prime motivations. Mr. Grimes was elected on principles of transparency, open communication, fiscal responsibility, and accountability. Strengthening these principles constitutes, in my view, no less than a call to action. Earning the trust and confidence of the community must be an objective of this board, and I'm offering my services, my commitment, and my expertise to achieve this goal. Thanks for your attention. I'm happy to answer your questions. What do you see as the single most important role you can play to support the su success of every student in our district? Please explain uh, what that single most important role is to you, why it's important, and give an example of how you would see yourself carrying out that role. The role as a board member, as I see it, is we're a steward of the taxpayer's money. And our job is to deploy that in the wisest fashion and to support Dr. Best and her team and their actions. And so, rather than seeing it a direct injection with each individual student, although I'm very happy to serve as that example wherever I possibly can, mm -hmm. I really think that it's, there's a, a bit of a firewall position there where we're really looking to, to provide them the tools and the opportunities to do their job as best as they can. Um, would you please uh, describe in detail your current or recent involvement in activities that would demonstrate your commitment to education generally? And also, can you detail any involvement you have with uh, the local schools? Sure. So um, education in general, I think, you know, I, I just mentioned to you to the example of uh, spending some time out with the, uh, with the Hoosier science teachers. Uh, that's, uh, it, that type of thing is, is uh, the general approach that I have used um, in many different school districts, uh, uh, Reading schools, uh, some of the Philadelphia schools. Um, uh, Pleasant Gap, a uh, little bit ago, I've certainly, I've, I've been in, uh, in within State College, I've been in Ferguson, I've been in some of the charter schools, I've been in both the middle schools, um, Coral Street, uh, um, haven't hit all the, all the elementary schools, but I think I've gotten about half of them right now. And my, my uh, general approach there is uh, exactly what I tried to lay out for you in my initial comments. Um, I'm a presentation guy, I have, sometimes it's a, it's a classroom visit, sometimes it's been a whole school visit. 
um, I promote the value of science and education. And, and for Chris, it's, it's actually very personal for me. And I, and I need to explain this in a little more detail for you. Um, in about 2030, um, this nation should be prepared to send humans to the planet Mars. And so we're looking at approximately 22 years in the future. The typical age of an entering astronaut is about 32, 33 years of age, which means that those astronauts that will be traveling to Mars are in our district right now. There are kids. I want one of those kids to be from this district. It's as simple as that. July 8, 2006 was a seminal moment in the history of State College Area School District. On that day, over 200 people testified in addition to the eight, almost 800 uh, written testimonies that were entered into a record-breaking Act 34 here. Uh, it was left to this board to interpret the will of the people recorded on that day. If you had been on that board, what would your interpretation have been of the public's desire that day, and what would your subsequent action have been? In answer to the first question, stop. I think the people spoke very clearly on that. Um, now, in looking at the responses, I guess there's probably two ways that you could interpret that. You could say that what we heard at the Act 34 hearing truly was the will of the people, or you could say it was um, a very vocal minority. Um, I think in analysis, the board probably chose the latter point of view, and I think the results of the last election showed that that was a mistake and that was not an accurate response. Um, I'm, I'm not uncomfortable with the idea of taking major projects to referendum. Again, I think we're stewards of the, of the stack, taxpayers' dollars. That's a very, very serious decision if you take an approach like that. Um, but I, I think it, that should be on the table. Uh, your experience, if any, uh, at helping to develop consensus in a diverse decision-making group such as this one? Yes, um, I will. And consensus for me is not a process that, or, a, or a goal that you set out to achieve. And quite frankly, I would say that if that's the goal of this body, then um, you're moving in the wrong direction. I think the goal of this body is to do the best that everybody can for the district. That's why we're here. And if we can all agree to that, then we can all roll up our sleeves and get to work. And it's really not about working on internal dynamics because we're all working together on a common goal. What I have seen in the many different groups that I've worked at, from very local groups to international groups, is that when that general approach is taken, that we are all working together towards a goal, that unity, consensus, all those themes happen naturally. It's not about the individuals, it's about the goal. I think uh, you guys have come up with a, a great set of questions and uh, I, again, I have no problem with going first. Um, <laughs> so I'll just thank you for the opportunity. Um, in accordance with your fiduciary responsibilities, I think you have defined a very fair and expeditious process to determine Mr. Grimes' replacement. And I think your efforts are recognized, and they are very much appreciated throughout the community, certainly as I talk around town. People very much feel that way. The need to select Mr. Grimes' replacement um, has once again focused the attention of the community on this board. And it's been a, a very good test, I think, of your ability to function efficiently and transparent, transparently. And, and I think you're doing pretty well. Um, and I certainly hope that the passionate engagement that defines our community will not distract you from your work. And, and what I want to offer you um, in conclusion is this pledge, that I will not make any public comments related to this process until you've announced a decision on Mr. Grimes' replacement. You're serving your constituents well, in my opinion. And with the very public nature of these discussions, you're covering all the bases that you should be covering. Further comment from me, unless requested by the board, doesn't aid you in this task at all. So I'll just wish you success in your deliberations and I'll bid you good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.